joined here Mike Cook. Mike, a 3 1 win away at Oxford City today. What's your thoughts on the game today? Yeah, well deserved, played really well. Um, did our homework on them, knew what they were going to be all about. Um, made a couple of tactical changes with um, Luke Haynes coming up front, um, who I thought was absolutely superb today. So it's a pleasure watching him and Twiny link up. And then uh, the baby faced assassin does, does, his, uh, <laughs> does his free kick, doesn't he, again? So, uh, yeah, very, very pleasing. Two goals from Scott Twine, both free kicks in pretty much exactly the same place. How impressed have you been with, with his performances uh, since Sloan? Yeah, he's been great, you know, he, he has. But the thing is, you don't just rock up at the age of sort of 19, 20, whatever he is, and, you know, um, take those free kicks and just score them just because you've done it once or twice. That is hours and hours of work that he's done as a kid through Swindon Town. So, you know, Swindon have got to take a lot of credit for that and all the coaches from the under 11s all the way up to sort of, you know, 18. So, um, you know, it's, it's great for him. He's, he's playing really well. He, he looks like he's enjoying his football, which is, is good for himself, good for the club and good for Swindon and well. So, uh, long may it continue. Obviously, Luke Kane starts obviously playing in, in, in the uh, number nine role. Obviously, what's the latest on that Jarvis and Air Pratt? Um, I don't know too much with that at the moment. I think um, what what would be better to focus on is that anybody who plays up front now against um, Luke Haynes and has to defend what he gives you as a player. They should be a little bit worried. He's, he's not a bad player. And again, he's from Swindon. He's a bit uh, he's a bit raw at times, which I like. Um, he's, he's not what I call a classic academy footballer. He's got a little bit about him and he's one of those that can play in numerous positions so we're even thinking about playing a false nine so not even playing somebody up front which we toyed with a little bit on on um, Thursday night but then you know we thought well let's go with him see what we can do and it's no disrespect to anybody else who's not in the team but we just had a bit of gut feeling about him the way that he shapes the things that he does um, and I've got to say you know Whatever his best position is, I, I don't really know. To be honest, he's, he's good at everything. Five wins and six. Obviously, that's uh, got the Blue Birds back up behind the table. Must, must must be a good spirit in the camp going forward. Yeah, yeah, it's good at the moment. I, I think um, I'm not sure where we are in the league or anything like that. But uh, last time I I looked a couple of months ago, I think we were something like second bottom. <coughs> so anything third bottom, fourth bottom, that would have been good enough for me. So everything we're getting at the moment. Is Next week, back at home against <coughs> Wilston. Obviously, they're, they're uh, currently top, uh, leading in the National League. Lost today, so that would be a big, a big game for, for obviously the Bluebirds. What's your preview of the game next week? Um, I just think that they're top of the league for a reason. They're obviously a very good team. Um, I need, I know um, Dino quite well, the manager, and I've uh, got a lot of respect and a lot of time for him. He's the whole club are gearing towards getting in the conference and then hopefully getting into the football league. So. Um, you know, it'll be tough, it'll be, it always seems to be tough games, but it really will be tough against them. And, um, but we, we haven't got anything to fear of, we've been playing really well. And um, if we keep playing like we're doing, you know, we'll give anybody a game really. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it for the lads, see how good they are. Thank you, Mike. Congratulations. Thank you.